Alrighty. New story. Do we want to play on the classic palette, the black and white one, for maximum Junji Ito? This one, like, sears my eyeballs. Continue. All right. Timeline B, a cult capital of Japan. Sure. Randomly chosen timeline. Dropping below one will kill us. That's good. If we don't mind about that. World of War, cultist. We'll do back to initiate. Uh, difficulty, initiate again. There we go. Backstory, haunted by the cult. We'll do Kthak Atarasu this time so that I don't need to worry about, uh, so I don't need, yeah, because I'm never going to run from combat. I'm not worried about that ever, so don't need to worry about Doom. It's fine. Lighthouse, backpack, equip, library notes, use, third eye. This just takes reason, so it's not a big deal. Your home. Bolt Shop, Seaside, Illegal Den, Forest, which is Tree, Save Load, there we go, they know, Empty Bottle, exactly what we wanted, I have a bookcase now, interesting, Some Library Notes, use those, Absorb, for a reason, Deal Street Damage, Gain 2 Stamina, Cost for a reason, that's cool, Fill Empty Bottle with Water, uh, we want the experience boost or the reason. Let's do our reason. Go into this room. Found footage. We're probably gonna reload this one. Yeah. It's a lot of the same ones we've been doing. <sighs> Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. Could be good. Sorrowful Saga Moonlight Sailors. Okay, so we don't get to see, we don't get to keep the endings of the game if we lose, which is weird. So, all right, let's do um, Crimson Cape first. All right, um, all right, so again, first things first, Cult Shop. Ritual Dagger, yes, right off the bat, equip. No compass, unfortunately. Map could be really good, though. I'll take that. All right. Um, 8% doom to start off. That's not bad. For those things, really not bad. Equip that. All right. Travel school. One of your friends uh, gather gossip. Okay, we can do that. This is gonna fuck me. There we go. You must refuse everything. Cool. Got the right one. Uh, sick. Investigate school. I guess we can continually try to reduce doom by investigating those other places, but. All right. You enter the kitchen, even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, you something is cooking in a large pot, you don't like the smell of it. Look for a first aid kit. Find the first aid kit in the storage cabinet, you quickly bandage yourself up and leave the kitchen. Nice. Helpful. Reported it to your principal, promised you'll take care of it. Uh, record at the city library mentions Akamanto. Walking through the park, you find a little girl crying alone in the playground. When you ask what's wrong, she says that she can't find her mommy. You let the police handle it. You tell the girl to wait while you look for an officer. When you get back, she's gone, minus one reason. That's fine. All right. Uh, Read a story about a vengeful samurai known for wearing a crimson red cape. It's an interesting find, but you need to find more information. Time to investigate the school. Hearing footsteps behind you, you realize you aren't the only student here. A girl wearing a demon's mask starts to giggle as you get closer. All right, so that's 68. That gives me room for three. Save. Oh. 
box cutter broken. Zero funds. Looks like it'll break very easily. Yeah, I don't need that, so that's going into storage. Uh, whew, investigate the hospital. Sure. When the patient came home one morning covered in scars and babbling about aliens, the police had them committed. They're mumbling something quietly. Talk to them. Charisma check success. Nice. You immediately understand that the only difference between you and the crazy person is that you, they haven't, that you haven't been caught yet. You convince them to sneak out and join you in your quest. All right, we have the ally Kyoko. Missing hiker plus 5% doom, one extra damage. That fucking sucks. We really don't want that much doom. All right, investigate school. You learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all the records, records with him. Why would he do that? That's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come by school today, and another body has supposedly been found. We're going to take a slip of paper from Aquamanta this time, for sure. Principal has ordered the school be closed down for an investigation. Roads seem to twist and turn when you're not looking, trapping you in this neighborhood. Follow the map. Using the map, you discover that some of the intersections don't change at all. It takes a while, but you finally find a way out. Passage to the cursed neighborhood slowly closes behind you. Wondering if that's a reference to Moonlight Syndrome. Though I highly doubt the developer of this game has played Moonlight Syndrome. Cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there! Tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lip stops you. I'll be your new biology teacher. Could you help me move some stuff to my new office? Uh, sure. Helper. Luck check failure. The creepy substitute teacher hands you a dusty old biological specimen. The rancid smell of formalin almost makes you drop the jar. Should fetuses have so many legs? Minus two stamina. Stamina isn't really a concern. Prepare yourself. Blue paper. Tall man. Red coat grabs you by your neck and starts choking you. You kick him and rush to the door. Minus three stamina. Your click coming from the door's direction. You're locking here with this crazy man. Akamanto with the mask. Two turns, baby. Get wrecked. Blood flowing from the wounds in the tall man's red coat makes it look like the man is slowly melting. You hear cackling coming from behind the mask and faint. When you wake up, he is gone. Somehow, you know he will be back in another stall, another school, another city, continuing the horror. All right, our doom tracker's down. Minus 10% doom armor. Yes. The air feels heavy, making it harder to breathe. Resting is gonna not be super helpful this time, but that's fine. I kind of expected that. All right. What do we want now? Creepy mask. Uh, world takes stamina. Oh, bottle water. Take. Bottle water. Drink. Extra stamina regained. Cool. All right. Uh, let's start the next mystery. So we did Akamanto as number one. Moonlight Sailors will be number two. Start your investigation hoping to overhear some rumors at the fish market. Discard two items to... Uh, wait, hold on. What happens if I put this? 23% doom. Faceless. Minus two to all stats. What? That's a bummer. Red cape. Okay, well... Discard two items. Um, let's discard the map. Oh, we can definitely discard the library notes because I don't need those. Um, I really don't want to get rid of the map because it's useful. Village or forest. Were there any forest or village encounters next? Discard, that's fine. Couldn't, you couldn't find the nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. What you did find was a huge bonfire in the middle of the beach. Take a burning branch with you to light your way. Ooh. Speed 95. Speed 75. Yeah, we won't use that. Counts as a light source. It's still useful. Minus two to all stats is really bad, actually. That sucks we won't be able to fit that fourth attack in.
All right, we found an item, prescription. Uh, I have no funds, so can't do anything with that. Investigate downtown. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay a visit to her. Uh, through a dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady looking man wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stalks in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any wanted followers. What could it mean? Do nothing. You try to convince yourself that everything is all right and you lose your appetite. Well. Travel to mansion. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. Investigation can wait. Hot bath is too inviting. Take a bath. Let's get the mansion. All stats minus two is really bad. Living in the walls, pillar vampire. Yay. New level, quick thinking, knowledge back up, resolve combat. All right, travel to seaside. Surely someone else must have caught one of these. You lurk around hoping to spot one of them. Decide to enter a small shady bar, buy them around. You can't afford to buy them around of drinks defeated. You leave the bar. Oops, I thought I had two funds. I guess not. Investigate Seaside. Young man has glassy eyes, mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch. The beating movement, uh, movements of his arms disturb you. The ocean is hungry. Uh, they look incredibly sad. It wants me, but I'm afraid i too much of a coward to do it myself. Can you help me? Let them kill themselves. <laughs> you close your eyes and they jump off the cliff. Maybe it will calm the ocean. Zero, two reason, two doom. Uh, investigate seaside. We're in a bad, we're in a bad position, I think. Something gigantic and invisible leaves you with a deep void. Minus two, investigate this. Full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge breathless. The possessed fishermen's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. Seeping Apostle. Uh, the whole section of the beach is black with ooze, slowly engulfing the bodies of the missing sailors. Right in the middle of it stands a lone figure. When he spots you, the ooze stops undulating for a second before rapidly moving towards you, leaving the half-eaten corpses behind. Throw my torch. Uh, you throw the torch towards the figure, and the ooze instantly ignites, quickly turning the whole beach into a burning nightmare, devouring both the black substance and the corpses. The noxious fumes force you to retreat and find cover. It was definitely a close call, too close for your liking. You are sure the newspapers will report on the goo soon to dry up and look just like volcanic ash by tomorrow. Tonight, however, all you're thinking about is a hot bath. Ending C! That's fun. The whole town stopped receiving any outside signal. Must be radio mass failure. That's fine. I don't feel like that does anything, right? Alright, what do I need? Do I need... I need stamina. I get to keep my torch, though. That's nice. Neato. All right. Violent Vigil is going to be... We're going to have to do the same fucking ending again, and we're not going to get anything. This is so irritating because my stats are so low because of that faceless thing. <sighs> All right. Get it over with, I guess. Got a flashlight. Sell that. Um, dilapidated corridor, vigil pamphlet, a clap bow, clap bow. All right, got the order right. Dilapidated corridor, explore the mansion. We wait for it to. Uh, Read it. Knowledge check success. You uncover some of the secrets of the sleeping god. Cool. Uh, check out the supper. Oh, we have the supper this time. Strength check failed. Minus one stamina. That's all good. Right? So, modest supper. Pray over the body. Bow, clap, bow, bow. All right. It's 11 p.m. That's at midnight. 
Bow, clap, bow, bow. Ritual mask. Okay. Small chance of ignoring reason loss in combat. That's fine. We'll sell that. We don't need it. Um... Okay, the body disappears though. So how am I supposed to do the vigil if the body always disappears? Burn an envelope found in the study, cover the mirror in the storage room, end of the vigil. Is this truly just an RNG thing that I'm just not allowed to pass because it just always does that? Like, that is profoundly frustrating. Uh, Sage has asked how is World of War anyways. I hear plenty of praise, but I don't know much about it. It's a pretty boilerplate um, roguelike, uh, and it has a lot of RNG to it. That is very irritating, but otherwise it's very good. It's a cool game. There doesn't really seem to be that much content in it. Even with the stuff that you unlock, it seems like it's a pretty limited set of rotating mysteries, um, and it's very reliant on RNG, which is extraordinarily frustrating. I can't do anything in here, even though cover the mirror in the storage room, burn an envelope found in the study. There's no envelope found here. Guess I just don't know how we're gonna do this. Very irritating. Can't cover that, can't do nothing with it. Master bedroom, storage room, check the wardrobe, it's empty. What am I supposed to do? Here we go, explore the mansion. In the middle of the room, you see a man tied to a chair. You rush in to help. When you remove his gag, though, the man starts shouting curses and ancient prophecies. You fall onto the floor, your mind flooded with unspeakable images as the man slowly stands up, completely ignoring the chair he was seemingly tied to. Cult member. How do I not have enough time? Dear God, okay. <laughs> Curious statuette. One knowledge while held in the inventory, sweet. Managed to find one of the other guests. It's him. Explore the mansion. He'll turn into an enemy. We'll fight the enemy. Sage says, it looks like the disappearing body is just part of this inve investigation script. Yeah, so that just means I have absolutely no idea how to get the other endings for this because it seemed to be indicating that the only way to, or that the other way to get the ending would be to, like to do the vigil that is in the pamphlet, right? You have this schedule. You're trying to discover things, you get one thing. It's asking you to follow that closely, but you'll just never be able to do that. That's annoying. Perception check success. Books are covered with a thick layer of dust. However, you notice that one tome must be placed here recently. From it, you learn about distant worlds and bizarre rituals. We have spells. Cauterize. Plus two stamina, one time use only. Sure, we'll cast that spell. He's there, uh, storage room, spooky, kill them, it says, dilapidated corridor, master bedroom, can't do anything, study, can't do anything. Uh, dark force is great, we got a curse, with, we're in Smith left, great. Vigil is nearing its end. Can't investigate anything here. Can't do anything. Can't explore the mansion. Is there anywhere I can click to try and get anything else? Nope. Have to kill him. We'll get ending C. That's annoying. So I guess I might just need like a random item there at the end to, to damage him. We'll figure that out, I guess. So this is where I think games like this fall apart is it's like... It really is just like, hey, maybe you'll redo the same thing in just the, the random nature of doing the same things 257 times in a row. You'll just happen to have different items so that you can like try new things. And it's like, that would be cool. But the thing is, is that we have no indication of what we need. So there's, it is literally just, maybe you'll get lucky and have the right thing. And that is, really annoying. That's really, really obnoxious design. Let's just increase our knowledge and try to get more damage in. Freakish Fable of a Frightening Flood. Investigate. 
reach the inn, so let's do exactly what we need to do. We'll fight the guy. Alright. Go straight to the inn. Leave the building. Classrooms of the cool old school. Pick it up, got the lump of flesh. Adds new status, why not? Take it, bloated. Something is moving inside my stomach. I can heal that probably eventually. So Kaori is in the village, Sakina is in the forest, and Hiroki is in the school. Stumbled upon a forgotten bookstore um, in a small alley. Buy a magic item, corpse dust. 20 experience minus two luck. Research notes. The pillars are related to the cult of, uh, what was it, like Chithinak or something, a fertility goddess. People here refuse to help us with their work and forbid us from researching the village archives. middle of the field, enter the portal, figure out, ready to swap places, where am I, lost in time and space. Bleeding desert. Parasitic star is looming over the dying civilization. Is this fate, is this the plate of our planet as well? It's the ringed city. That's fun. Uh, dig through the sand. Luck check failure. Digging through the stone pillar, you unearth a chest inside, you find a rotting human head. Oh no, so scary. Kauri Yuto is in there. I think we need two each, so we should be able to escape if we do this. Sudden storm, use my flashlight, get a spell. All right, enthrallment, gain a follower. Don't care, forget this spell. Get this spell, forget this spell. Cool, forest. Walking through the tree nursery, you suddenly stop, something feels off. Isn't it too early for the leaves to change their color? Before you can continue your investigation, someone grabs your leg. It's the Bark Woman! Bark, bark, woof, woof! She was pretty damaging. There we go. Found Sakina. Now we need to break into the school. And get out of here. Success! Charisma check on a, on a friggin' three charisma. Unannounced inspection, she asks. Thank you for telling me. While the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, you copy some names and addresses from the database. Break into the school. Catch a glimpse of an art class. Take a peek horrified. Minus two stamina. Manage to find them. Yay. Escape the village. Am I not allowed to escape the village? What the fuck? Did I not have time? What? How, how am I supposed to do that then? What? I literally started looking for them the second that I was available to. Is it purely luck? That's so annoying. Eldritch monster disappears suddenly as it appeared. All that's left of Kaibara. It's too late for Monster Sand. Research team parked their Jeep. Okay, well, I went to save them all and I got all of them this time, but it just didn't let me save them, I guess. I wasn't able to escape. It's not enough time, I suppose. Very frustrating. Uh, folkloric studies, sure. Memoir from uh, Morbid Mermaids. This one should be quick. 
See side investigation twice. We have plenty of doom to spare, so it is not particularly dangerous for us. One turn, baby. Threat level increase, that's fine. Something's watching me from the sea, cool. We'll rest a few times, because we really don't need to worry about our Doom Tracker. Cool, 34%, that's nothing. Uh, anything connecting all the missing people, I should investigate downtown. Another girl from my area has gone missing. Metro line, take a ride, luck check failure, that's fine. I'm just trying to get the, I'm trying to get the bad things that we keep failing to give us the correct things so that we can maybe count them as newly seen events. Travel to school. Asking around your neighborhood gets you some results. All the girls attended the same school. Suddenly so dark outside, observe the smog. Two stamina, that's fine. All the missing girls were apparently members of the school swimming team. But hey, we're gonna get another another ending. We're gonna beat the game again, so. Light the candles, four reason, 20 experience. That's fine. Morbid school, it's gonna be filled with fish. <laughs> we have pretty low reason. Investigate downtown. Suddenly a window behind you breaks with a bang. Masked man with a hunting rifle in his hands. Pick it up, got a hunting rifle. All right, investigate downtown. Girl standing in the bush, getting closer. She's part of it, Stock Chan. Okay. I think she's a completely new enemy that we haven't fought before. Pick it up, we got a branch. What does a branch do? It's just a blunt weapon, gotcha. Fast to equip. Uh, compare a sewer plan with a school map, school basement, kidnapper must be keeping the missing swimmers there. Plus 2% doom, that's fine. Investigate the school. Distract him? Interesting. She was too weak and died, you hear. How do I distract him? Mad janitor stepping over the body when he stops, noticing your mutation. See, this is what I'm talking about. Getting the Innsmith look is just like a completely random event, so the only way you can get this is if you just play a bunch and it just randomly cycles onto the events. It's a little bit irritating because it means you can't plan for certain things. You can't use your brain and like Metroid Brainia out how the game works. It truly is just a dice roll. That's frustrating. The gills, you are the one I've been looking for all my life. He falls on his knees and raises his hands, not noticing a movement behind him. The girl suddenly springs to life. With a deafening shriek, she jumps on the hypnotized janitor and starts choking him. His last words chill you to your bone. The sea will claim you back. Pass out. Ending D. All right, police officers find you a few hours later. No trace of the mad janitor is found, but you will sleep a little better knowing that the other students are safe. Words of the janitor echo in your head. Now you can't help but shudder hearing the sound of the waves crashing on the beach. The sounds of something coming out of the water. Macabre memoir of morbid mermaids. All right, um, what do we want? Leadership, sure. Uh, strength up one. Or, you know, we'll just take more reason. No reason not to. Got the key. Got to drink some bath water. Uh, and then, you know what we're going to do? We're going to stamina regain to have more stamina. We're going to go to the lighthouse, finish this up. It should be relatively easy. We have plenty of time. I can just rest here, enter the lighthouse. Rest for a bit, rest for a bit. We're maxed out. I'm at 50% doom, we got plenty of time. Start climbing. So the first one we did was, it was ar uh, arms and then sailors. Correct answer. Following the winding staircase, you're stopped by darkness. You light our way. This is gonna be easy. On the winding staircase, disconnect the faulty plug. That's fine. Minus three stamina, not gonna hurt us that much. Try to reason with her, not enough charisma. On the winding staircase, you're by a metal grate, grab the metal rods, knowledge check passed. Bye. All right, hey, we finished that one. 
13 new enemies, two new achievements. Cool. All right. Well, we finished that run. That was pretty good. Good for us.